Alright, this is the overclock test for the GeForce GTX 460M. I'm overclocking it to the bus speed. The bus speed to 836 from the initial um, 675. And the memory bus speed to um, 1500 from the initial 250. And I'm keeping track of the highest temperature. The previous test, it ran at 138 Fahrenheit and 59 Celsius. Um, there's also a mode that this laptop has that if you push FN and the number one, it clocks the fan to, um, well, boost the fan to 100% just to maintain cooling. And now I'm going to run a um, the 3D Mark Vantage. So this on other games, it could also run Crisis on Advanced with no problem on the normal settings. Um, also when you um, overclock it, it can, it can run Crisis on Hardcore, but you'll notice that it has some lag. Um, it's not perfect. But on Advanced, it doesn't need to be overclocked to be run it perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it, one lag, one glitch. Um, and if you overclock it, then definitely nothing will happen to it. Uh, pretty much you can run Modern Warfare 2 on the highest settings on the normal um, clocking speed and it's perfect. Um, also, um, Dead Space 2, Modern Warfare 1 and 2, um, Need for Speed Shift, Bioshock 2, all those it can run on all the highest settings and not notice um, any lag or anything. Pretty smooth. Portal 2. Yeah, but this is a um, a Sager, I think eight eight thousand one hundred fifty um, Yeah, it has a, a, tw a twenty seven twenty MQ um, sec uh, second generation uh, i sevens um, with eight gigs of RAM and a ten eighty p screen. Yeah, it could also run um, StarCraft 2 on the highest settings. Oh, and on the um, 3D Mark 03, not this one, the 03 version. Um, with the regular settings, I'll get the um, I'll get 36,000 points, and at um, and overclocking it, I'll actually get 48,000. So it's almost an increase of like 12,000 points um, over the overclocking it. So that's a huge difference. Um, in this one, you'll get a, a similar, you get a pretty big jump in there. And let's see. And I've been keeping track of the temperatures before. Honestly, there is no, there is not that big of a difference. Um, this computer kind of has a funny thing with the fans where the temperature will get to 150, 160 uh, Fahrenheit, and it won't make the fans go 100%. So you would always, and I don't know why. Um, the only time it turned the fans 100% is we got when it got to 190, and that was by accident. Um, I left the computer on the, on my bed, and it was blocking the vents, and that's the only time that the fans went up to 100 and. Um, 50 degrees Fahrenheit and that's when the fans were at 100% so on average if I didn't turn up the fans physically myself to 100% it will idle at 125 uh, at 145 or 150 um, Fahrenheit as I'm playing a game like Crisis 2 or something something else 
Um, but then I always like to keep it lower, like 130, and that's why I put the fans at 100% most of the time. And the way to do that is, uh, is the FN function, where they um, and you push the number one, not F1, but the number one. Um, Alright, this is my um, GP my CPU tests. And I know this is not relevant to the GPU, but but the test grades overall. So overall, this computer can pretty much run everything I throw at it. Like I said, except for the exception of Crisis 2, um, it could only it'll run out Advanced, which is second below hard, um, the ranking. Um, it'll go Gamer, Advanced, and Hardcore. Hardcore being the highest, Gamer being middle, and um, actually, sorry, um, Hardcore being the highest, Advanced being the middle, and Gamer being the the lowest one. So this could run on Advanced. And then there is a hardcore setting. Like I said, it can run it, but there is a lot of there is lag. It's not unplayable, but you're not gonna you'll enjoy it, but you have to. Yeah, it's better to put on advanced. And advanced is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So bear with me, there's only maybe another four more tests and they're they're fairly sharp. So yeah, um with overclocking this one, the 460M, if you overclock it to the clock speeds that I have, it's actually around the same strength as the um, 470. 470M, and the other one obviously is more money, but I really find there's no reason to, to buy that one. And the 480M is actually lower than the 470, so you can get the 480 is um, it's one step up above the 460, and um, the 470 is actually above the 480. So, but I mean, overclocking all of them, you won't notice. Uh, if you overclock this one, it'll catch up to the 470, maybe even a little bit higher on the test score it'll get on this one. If you like, I'll show you guys some more, um, I'll show you Crisis 2 and I'll show you um, a Modern Warfare, to, um, Modern Warfare or something, Warfare. Alright, and that's the score that it gets. Um, so before it used to be 8,400, 8,300. Now it jumped up to 10,210. So a huge increase. I would say it's a pretty big increase. And also if you do the, the 03, it gets to um, 48,000, almost 49,000. Um, from 36,000 by overclocking it. And we'll check out the highest temperatures. As previously in the beginning, the this was, um, I don't know, reset it for the next one, but the highest it ever reached playing Crisis 2 was um, 138 degrees Fahrenheit and 69. And I'll play a little bit of Crisis 2 just to show you guys. Um,
yeah, I can't skip this. So, just have to kind of watch it. And also, the good thing about this um, computer, the speakers are very good. They're pretty loud, and it's not that they get loud and then very awkward to listen to, or very loud and blurry, or, um, but this one gets very loud and still is very clear and very enjoyable. So, I'm not going to be able to really play because I'm holding the phone to record, but... to do this but okay this is I'll show you guys so the options are on options graphics and as you can tell it's 1080p and full screen vsync and this is the lowest so this is gamers the lowest then advanced and hardcore so just because we're on the advanced we're gonna stay there so hit apply. and then I can't really play, but um, so there's no lag. Like, as you can tell, you can keep spinning all over. There's no lag. And yeah, there's, it's, it's completely perfectly playable. Yeah, all right, and now we're going to check out the advanced, I mean the um, hardcore. So options, graphics. So that's hardcore. Uh, hitting apply. It's going to take a set. Alright, um, so now it's on hardcore, and you see it kind of slows down a bit, I know on the phone it's kind of hard to look at, but it's still kind of, it's still playable, it's still very playable, just you'll notice a little bit of lag every once in a while when something changes. Um, when, there was also a tank scene in this game, and there's a lot of explosions. Um, it didn't lag as much, but every time you kind of move the mouse, it'll show a little bit of, I guess, lag. Uh, and also the de the delay between the jump. I don't know if you can kind of see it. If I try to jump, there's a little bit of delay here. Let's see? Okay, I'm getting killed. I'm trying to play with one hand, so it's a little bit tough, but... Yeah, well, that's it. It's on, um... So that's Crisis 2. Uh, let me just make sure it's on, actually, game. So yeah, it, it is on, Ben. It is on, um, Hardcore, so... Alright, um... So that's pretty much it, uh... Alright guys, 